Problem number three is about uh, tossing a coin three times, right? So X represent the number that of times of getting hits. Hit, hit is which one? No? The parliament one. No? H is the parliament. Tail is the other one with the dua sen, lima sen. That one is the tail. Okay. So if you toss the coin three times, how many hits can you get? How many? How many parliament? The parliament picture can you get? Okay. Parliament picture. Okay. Can you tell me if you toss the coin three times, how many hits can you get? How many possible hits can you get? Uh, three over six, one or two. No, I want three the number six. of hits. I don't want the probability. I want the number of hits. The first one, write down the X. X equals to the number of hits. So it can be zero then, no hits. What else? This one, this one. We are talking about uh, the, the number of hits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hey, no, no 5, 6, are 3 times only. 3 times only. Ah, oh, 0, 1, 2, three. Ah, 0, 1, 2, 3 only. Huh? 0, 1, 2, 3. So the number of hits can be 0, 1, 2, 3. And the 3 diagram looks like this. Head or tail, the first first throw, la, not first switch. <laughs> I go and copy from the other side. Head or tail, right? Then the second throw can be head or tail. Third throw can be head or tail. So you write down a uh, head. If it's head, then head or tail. If it is tail, it can also be head or tail. The second half, tail. The second throw can be head or tail. The third throw, if it's H, the third throw can be H or tail. If the second throw is tail, the third one can be head or tail. So slowly, you list out all these uh, possible outcome here. And these are the possible outcome. Right? So if you want to find the probability, it will be like this. Here 0 0.5, 0 0.5, or you can say 102, 102, 102, 102. Okay, then the number of heads, head, 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 uh, 3 lah, head, head, tail, 2 lah, head, tail, head, also 2. So you look, you count the number of heads, then you write down at the back here. Then you will know the discrete random variable that you are interested in, which is H, how many of them in each trial, in each trial. Okay, then the probability is 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, it is 0 0.125. If you want uh, probability of X equals to 0, uh, this one. Probability of x equals 0 is this one. There's only one case. So it's 102, 102 times 102. Here, 102, oh, this one. This one. 102 times 102 times 102. So answer is 108, which is 0 0.25. Now, if you want x equals to 1, x equals to 1 got 3 uh, got 3. Where are the 3? x equal to 1 here, x equal to 1 here, and x equal to 1 here. There are 3 of them. So 3 times 102, 102, 102. Because each of these is 102. This is 102. This is 102. 102. Uh, 102. And 102. Tail, head, tail, like this one. 102, 102. So 0 0.25. Let's say this one. This one is this, this, and this. Head, tail, tail. Uh, 0 0.25. Since all of them, they are 0 0.25, you 
you just take 3 times 0 0.25. You don't have to add them up. You just take 3 times 0 0.25. Next one. What do you want? X0, X1. The next one you want is X equals to 2. Oh. Huh. How many of them are X equal to 2? 1, 2, 3. 3 of them. So I just take the probability multiply by 3. 0 0.25. Then multiply by 3. This is 375. Okay. Next one. X equals to 3. X equals to 3, only 1. Only 1. This one. X equals to 3, only 1. So only 1 is this 0 0.125. So if I summarize all this inside a table like this x equal to 0 x equal to 1 x equals to 2 x equals to 3 the frequency how many of them 1 3 3 1 so i multiply them together i find out the total probability at the bottom there you want to draw the graph then the graph will be like this x equals to 0 1 2 5 x equals to 1 0 0.375 x equals to 2 0 0.375 x equals to 3 this is 0 0.125 any questions so far no question okay very good Okay, next one.